Hi guys, I'm Summer with Bella Canvas. We get a lot of questions about which of our teas work best with Discharge Ink. Discharge Ink is a water-based ink that works best on dark garments and gives it a soft hand feel. Whether you're new to screen printing or just want a deeper dive, this video is gonna give you everything you need to know about discharge printing. Before we get started, I just wanna give you guys some info about a few things in our fabric dyeing process and the reason our t-shirts perform so well with a variety of inks, especially discharge ink. We only use high energy dyes, which are high quality, eco-friendly dyes that are resistant to discoloration, won't fade in the wash, and have excellent color fastness, meaning the ink will actually adhere to the shirt without any issues. Plus, we never over dye our fabrics, which as Cole will explain, is really important with discharge printing. Discharge printing is a form of water-based ink that essentially bleaches the color away from the garment. Um, it's intended for 100% cotton, and on dark garments, it's gonna perform the best. So unlike Plastisol, which sets on top of the garment, Discharge is gonna be sinking into that fabric and essentially removing the color out of the garment and replacing it with either a pigment that you put into the Discharge or just raw fabric color. All discharges are gonna work the best on natural fibers. Normally that means 100% cotton, but on tri-blends we've gotten good results. It just looks a little bit more vintage. It's not as opaque. Polyesters and the rayons do not hold on to the uh, discharge. The discharge is only gonna be stripping the garment color out of the natural fibers. There's a lot of experience in figuring out how things will perform different garments, different um, amounts of ink and activator. But one of the things we do is we have a hack. We've actually printed a color card so that we have a, a discharge print on every single color that Bella Canvas offers. This allows us to show the customer in store exactly what they're going to expect. So discharge printing is a little bit more difficult than your standard Plastisol. Discharge needs to be cured at 320 degrees like Plastisol. However, it needs to be cured for 60 to 90 seconds. The best situation is for you to use a force air conveyor dryer, which is definitely a higher end dryer. You have to evaporate all the air out of it and complete the chemical reaction. Another thing is the activator that you mix into Discharge is a one-time use and will be dead within about six hours. So always mix exactly what you need. One of the biggest problems that we have with discharge printing is over dyeing. Bella Canvas has a policy of never over dyeing, so we always have great results and it's a very reliable blank. Over dyeing is when a garment company has too much of a certain color and because they want to not lose all that stock, they'll over dye it. This normally happens on black garments. So for example, they have a whole bunch of nasty purple garments, they can't sell them, and then they dye them black, which makes them look normal until you discharge them. And all of a sudden you have like a light lavender discharge, which is obviously unsellable. So if you get a weird result with your fabric and you're not able to return the garments to the provider, then what I would suggest is putting a discharge base down and then putting another water base print on top. So you could do either like a high pigment water base or there's also like acrylic water base inks. For example, the Comet line by uh, Rayonet, they have like a really nice opaque white water base, which still has that matte feel, but it's gonna sit on top of your discharge and give you like a guaranteed bright white instead of the discharge process. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below and if there's any other topics you'd like to see us cover. We'll link Shirt Agency's info in the description and we'll see you next week.